Amazon Prime came today, my dudes. Finally, this is what exactly. I'm hoping that this is what I needed. Because this is the second time that I ordered these. Because I did not know what was going on. So I really saw what was going on. This is the second time. Hopefully, these are it. This is what I ordered, bad boys. The key to this car. Yeah, right. Just kidding. So, let's see. How do you open this chingadari? This is a nice packaging. I always, always like admiring the package of people's that they do, that they put the work into it. I don't know, that's just me. Wow. I just like packaging. Whoa. Fit free glove? What? No way. They gave me a glove to do this job? Damn. Okay. I did not expect this at all. Okay, these are huge. I don't even think these can fit. <gasps> oh, they can't fit. This is, this is exactly... Okay, so you guys can see now these are light bulbs. And these... I think these come off. The shit come off. I ordered light bulbs for the BMW because the ones I have on right now, you cannot see nothing. And I don't know if it's the light bulbs. I don't know if it's the the headlight unit itself. So we're gonna install these and we're gonna figure out what is what's going on, but the free glove, this is nice, appreciate it. So let's go install the light bulbs and hopefully when the night comes, I try them on. Look like these work. These look highly professional, qualified, and these look really good. I just most likely I gotta take off this, but let's just go outside to the BMW and let's start this vlog. So the owner before me told me that these are not aftermarket, but for some reason they do not be as bright as I thought they would be. They, okay, the brights, the long beams, um, those are bright. Those are really bright, but the low, the low beams, those are not bright. They do not shine at all. When I drive at night, you do not see anything. When I put them on the garage, these yellow ones, the hazards, the turn signals, these are brighter than the low beams itself. So. That's the whole point of today's vlog. We're going to replace them. Hopefully that they do work. Cross my fingers that they do work. That's why I do not drive this BMW as much because of that issue. Because I need lights. I need headlights. So it's simple. Take off these lights. There is a... Sorry, I got all these wires going everywhere. I don't know what these wires are go to, like I always said. So I see this metal clip right here. We got to unclip this metal clip. Pop these out and then that should be it. So I can probably do that with one hand. If not, then I'll just do it. You guys can see. Pop that clip. Hold the clip because you don't want to drop the metal clip. If you drop this clip, then damn, this is going to be hard. Okay, that came all completely off. <laughs> I didn't get the bottom. But just take out these light bulbs. Come on, baby. Oops. Oh, I wasn't even recording it. Sorry, my dudes. But these are the light bulbs that we have present on the BMW. When I take them off like this, they do shine super bright. But for some reason, they do not shine as bright when I put them inside. I don't know, this is like some Chinese cheap light bulbs, but they weren't, they're telling me they're pretty expensive, trust me. So let's do the same thing on that side as well. So I can do this quick swap and see what's going on. Don't lose that metal part. Here, I got a big old mess of wires. And we have to get to, which is the low beam, right here. So it's the same thing, low beam's right there. Okay, like I said, it has a clip. If you guys can see, oh, you guys can't really see, that metal clip right there. That's what we gotta take off to pop it up. So if I can do it with one hand, if not, then I gotta put the camera down. Okay, got that side. Got that side. See the clip did not came off. That's why I didn't want it. Don't tell me the clip fell. Oh, thank God. Bullseye, baby. Got it right there. So that's basically it. And then we just twist it off and then we put it back on. With two hands, I got the camera. Tuck in under my armpit to take these off. Okay, okay, that's tight. That's a tight fit. I gotta get a tool. Okay, I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm gonna take them off and hopefully they work. You guys can see that. The middle bulb is kind of foggy. That means that it's been used. So maybe that's why, but it still turns on. Yeah, it's kind of bad, but might as well take it off. So this is the old one. Take off that one. I gotta take off this one. Don't lose that clip, like I said. That clip stayed on. So I couldn't take off that one. The other one was pretty hard to take off, so I got some pliers, but this one's easy because I've been taking it off already. 
Okay, it's the exact same thing. I know you guys can't really see that. I don't know why the camera's not focusing. So I put this over here. We might be using that if it does not work. We have to put them back. So I might as well just put them over here so I won't lose them. I'm gonna put on this glove, the micro glove. It's kind of windy, sorry about that. The... Oh, sweet, yo. Put on the micro glove. <laughs> so Michael. This is to help it so we won't get it dirty, supposedly, or like um, get fingerprints on the glass because I know that these lights are very, very um, delicate and sensitive, which I've been reading from reviews. You don't want fingerprints on them. And this does come off. So I got the D2S, and hopefully these D2S is really good. And then this just slide on top like so. Don't know. Let's just install this one first. So let's go. Probably gonna install this one first right here because it's harder. I don't know if this white rubber goes on, but I'm guessing it's just paper. No, it's not paper. It is plastic because I just took a bite of it. So I got it on. So now I took off the clip, unclip it, and I'm gonna put it back inside. Hopefully they do work. It's hard doing this by myself, my dude. That's why I like having my pops here. I like him doing it and I'm me recording it. I know how to do it, it's just that I need a camera person to do it, every specific detail. So it's really hard for me to vlog and to do it. Tell you the truth, these gloves are gonna turn out black once I'm done. So let me let me put it inside and I pick up the camera and then show you guys once it's inside and then we'll turn them on. A word to advice. This is the hardest one. Well, I had to keep doing and doing and doing it over and over and over. So what I did was put the light bulb first, and then the and then I put on this silver thing, and then I put the clip on. And this one was way easier because you have more space to work with. Now we're gonna turn it on and make sure that they work. I got my pops here. He she showed up like always. He always shows up in the minute that I need him. Oh, the last man. The last man. <sighs> Next, we're gonna try it out. See if it works. Hopefully, the lights do work. Oh, it's nice and warm in this car. Okay, so here goes the lights. Might as well turn it on. Huh? Let me turn it on so it can warm up. The fan's not on. Alright. This is another problem, my dudes. Uh, my dad said the lights will work, but... Let's see. Alright. So what we think that the next problem is wrong with it. Let me make sure it's on first gear. Yeah. What we think the next problem is wrong with it. Oh, I got a chopper coming to miss on my life. Another problem with the BMW, but let me just explain to it later. But the lights, the lights are on. But I don't know how bright the lights are on until it's nightfall. But they were like this with the other light bulbs. I really don't know until it's actually completely dark. Then we figure out what's going on. And we just run to another issue. The BMW does not want to start up again. And this happened to us one time. And we think, you know, her hypothesis is that probably because of the fan, because we have the fan wired. You guys remember we have it wired to one of these random wires. We have no idea what's to. So when the battery is on, which it is right now, the fan should turn on. And when the fan turns on, that's when we know the battery is running. But right now, it's not on, the fan. And we have the battery on. I did this in another video of fixing the fan. Because how they had it before we got the car is that they had it with just a hot wire like this connected to the fan directly. So what we did was we spliced and diced it and put it over here. But I don't want to get into that detail to another video. So I'm just going to leave you guys with the lights do work. So once we figure that out and I'll show you guys another process of the video of what's really going on. It's like every time I get this Beamer going, it's like one step ahead and like takes me two steps back. My goodness, but I went into the night falls and then we'll turn on the lights to see if these lights actually do help and do actually work. I didn't want to think about this car anymore. I was, every time I fall in love with it, it like takes me to hate it. You know, like it backstabs me and be like, no, you can't fall in love with me. It's just that, oh, I just hate that urge. And we're going to test out the lights. I'm going to start the car up and let's hope these lights work. I don't know. They're the same. They're the same. Wow. You need to drive it on most, but it looks the same for me. Yeah, that's the brights. That's what we have. It kind of looks the same, huh? Yeah. Wow. It, it's, yeah, it's those, those lights that the guy installed. Let me go inside and I'll talk to you guys more about it. Because I did my research about it. And I hope and I'm thinking it's it. 
So just bouncing away from the garage door doesn't look like it's that bright enough. Which is looked kind of like the same as the other lights that I had on the old light bulbs. So I'm guessing that it's something with that. So what I got was the HID, HID lights, I believe that it's called. I'm not sure. Don't call me on that. But he did a conversion kit over it to get those light bulbs, and I don't think they're good at all because you got something on the BMW. It's not, it's not marking as well as it should be. But then say I start to drive around the road to see how it looks, just because bouncing off the garage, it might look bright, but so far it doesn't look that bright i have to drive it on the road i'm not going to do it today because one the bmw does not want to work anymore i don't know if i'm going to leave that part in or i'm going to delete that part but if i deleted that part it was me just throwing some mumbo jumbo about the bmw not working anymore because when we start when i tried turning it on again it didn't want to start anymore and i think what well, we think me and my dad is the fan but we'll get to that in a different video if i even post it or even fix it or whatever anyways those lights they were good, but no good. But then again, it's just on the road. So I'm not really sure. So when I drive the BMW again, I'll record that or put it in a video saying that, hey, the lights do work. So anyways, subscribe down below, Louis Vlogs. Follow me on Instagram, at Louis Vlogs. Link for page, at Louis Vlogs. And I'll see you guys next one. So peace out.